welcome back to another episode of Chef Me TV. And today on this episode, I will be preparing a very elegant, traditional pasta dish from Italy called spaghetti carbonara. Now this dish is very quick, easy, but most of all, it's flavorful. So this dish consists of pancetta bacon, which is derived from pork belly and salt cured. But traditionally, it is made with guanciale, another Italian cured bacon derived from the pork's jaw. Eggs and egg yolks will also be used. I'm using two whole eggs and one egg yolk. You're gonna also need a whole lot of black pepper, one large garlic clove, Parmigiano Reggiano, also known as Parmesan cheese. Yes, it took me about two weeks to learn how to say that, but we keep moving. Pecorino Raimondo cheese, and I'm adding fresh spinach to help balance things out. I won't hold you up any longer. Let's go ahead and get started. So first, you wanna get your pasta water boiling. So I'll put a lid on, that's just gonna make it boil quicker. Let's come to a boil. Always salt your water, and this is gonna be significant later on. This pasta water, salted pasta water. So you just wanna take your pasta noodles, you don't need to break them, just place them straight in. All right, so make sure you keep that temp on high. So all the pasta noodles can get in there, just turn it around the pot. As I turn, it'll just fall in there by itself. About a good seven or eight minutes, eight minutes at the most. All right, so I got my pancetta. Go straight in with that. You wanna keep this on a low to, low to medium heat. You want to cook slowly so it rinses out all that fat. Pasta should be about done. Now let's 
test. Get that little guy right there. Perfect. Turn the gas off. Thinly chop some garlic. This will be added right to the bacon. Doesn't have to be perfect. Take that. Mix it in so you can smell it. Just keep stirring for about another 30 seconds. Excess grease, right back in. All right, just take your noodles, place them right in the pan. Now that pasta water I was talking about is becoming very essential now. Keep that on the low heat. And with some pepper, a lot of pepper. Now the eggs. Now the key, everything moving. All right, let's take some of my pasta water. This is what helps create that sauce and emulsify. Heat. I'm keeping a low heat so your eggs don't curdle, so they don't turn to scrambled eggs. Add some more water. Alright, Parmesan. A hefty amount. Always get fresh cheese. Fresh is always best. A little bit of Pecorino Romano. Doesn't take much of this either. Very saucy. From there, we're just gonna mix and incorporate. And with the spinach. And just fold that in. Will help cook it. More pasta water. Top of the plate. Now, if you want to make this thing look all elegant and pretty, I feel you. So all you need to do is just grab a hefty amount, get all the dang lids drop. Place it right in the bowl and turn the bowl. More Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> Just a little bit more right over the top. A little bit of garnish, some fresh Italian parsley. Just bunch it together. And just roughly chop it. Time to taste. I'm going for that middle piece. Right smack in the middle. Creamy. This 
spinach, parsley gives it that freshness. Mm. Wow. All right, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new, leave a like if you liked it, and comment below. This is easy, it's quick to make, and it's absolutely delicious. But I hear you calling my name, I've got to go. And I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of Chef TV.